Welcome, guys, to the Glorious Sunrise podcast in what is unfortunately not going to be a very glorious day <laughs> on the podcast. Uh, this has kind of been a few weeks coming, um, but John and I have had a lot of conversations and we wanted to make sure that whatever the next move was, we were both in agreement and it both made sense for for us and the channel uh, for the long run. And so uh, this is going to be a little bit of an opening up episode. This is going to be us kind of talking about what's going on, why you guys haven't seen much content recently, I would say, um, and just kind of the future of the channel and all that stuff. But before we get into that, John, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, bro. It's cold here, but I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm hanging in there, man. I'm stressed. <laughs> because i got too much crap going on <laughs> as you know uh mm -hmm. and so this is uh and uh, you know there's a little bit of anxious anxiety wow i can't say that uh around this episode i would suggest just because um you know it's kind of a big thing and we'll mm -hmm. we'll talk about why but basically um to rip the band-aid off uh basically the idea here is guys um and we'll talk about why and all that kind of stuff. But I think for the foreseeable future, um, and this could very easily change down the road, but for the foreseeable future right now, it resolves us at a place where I think both John and I and John obviously can speak for himself here, which I'm sure we will. But um, we're just at a place where we don't feel like it's a it's it's good to keep going with it in its current iteration. Um, it doesn't feel like it's progressing in the way that maybe we were hoping uh, in some cases, but it also just on a personal level, and I'll speak for myself and not John in this case, I know um, it sort of is just like a grind for the sake of grinding and not really feeling like it's not just the channel is getting anywhere, but me as a player is I'm, I don't feel like I'm progressing. I don't feel like I'm learning anything new. I don't feel like I'm providing good content. And if those things really aren't in place, I don't think it's worth doing uh, for me personally. Uh, and so in that situation, I, I think there's been some long term just like build up of, man, we have been slugging through so much crap for so long. It feels like that it's just it's just terrible. And so um, at this point, I think, uh, again, to, to kind of just or, you know, sum it all up, the, the reality is that it resolves in its current iteration will not be continuing for uh for a little while at the very least we'll see if it comes back but right now we're not planning to continue the channel uh which is a little weird because uh you know for the last year you and i john have been doing this and like we were talking before this and it's been a blast <laughs> like yeah. the fun aspect has been there for most of it yeah man no it has it has not just for the most of it just has man yeah, uh, I've enjoyed it. I really have. Um, hang on. I got to clear my throat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get sad on me here, John. <laughs> no, no, not getting sad. No. Um, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, we had some really still standard over the yeah. the closing of the year. Um, the all will be one has been fun, but uh, now nah, there's just a lot of real life stuff, even off channel that's popped up and it was, man, I broke a tooth <laughs> and it found out I broke two <laughs> teeth. Um, we were getting sick. <laughs> yeah. we were try, you're trying to do regular work. Uh, I, yeah, man, it just kept going and going and going, bro. Um, yeah. And it does. It, it kind of felt like it was just stacking. It almost got to a point where it just felt like uh, you were grinding out content just to get content out, yeah. not really making anything that you were having fun about or or that you were really into in any way. Yeah, um, that's kind of where I was at. Uh, no, I, it, get you. It's, I mean, I can open up arena and make a 60 card deck any <laughs> given day. The whole point was though, was, uh, you know, I was never supposed to be good at this growing up on a farm <laughs> <laughs> as a farm kid. I was never supposed to be in the comic books and magic and all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't fit the, you know, the prototype of a farm kid. So I was just having fun going out there and winning, man. But, yeah. uh, no, it just got it got to it here lately where it was it just felt like it was more of a more of a grind. Nothing yeah. gained. Uh just no, putting I've... out content, which you know, to to the fans of the channel and the subscribers and stuff like that, um 
you know, could never thank you guys enough for your support and everything. And then to Kevin for giving me the chance to come over to the channel and stuff, man, that's a, that's a friendship I got for life there now. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know how to sum it all up. It just, it, it, yeah. it did have its days where it just felt like I was beating my head against the wall. Uh, yeah, I'm numerous days where I was feeling kind of the same way and it, it got to be, um, uh, it got to be just so much of a of a grind for me personally. And again, I, I'm not going to speak for you, John, but I, I will say like I my normal routine because I wake up with Caitlin and she's a teacher. And so she's up very early would be, you know, send get her ready to go, help her out, get her on her way. And then for me, it was like, OK, I've got like an hour to sit down and record. And I started dreading that hour of recording a little bit um, mm. and not because I don't love the game. Let it be let it be known that as as the as a game and all that kind of like it's a blast to play magic. But I think in general on arena in particular right now and with the way standard has worked out and those kinds of things and just the way that the channel was going, it just got to be so monotonous and so much of a grind every day. And it was just not really worth it. Um, and I've always um, uh, this was pre you being here, John, that, you know, I've always said, OK, if I'm not enjoying it, doing it every day, I need to not do it because that's not that's not healthy for me as just an individual. And if I'm not enjoying it, 99% of the time, you guys are going to know about it and it's going to be very <laughs> clear in the content that gets produced. Right. So in that instance, it's just not worth it for either of us, whether it be me or the audience or you or whoever to, to create that content. If nobody's really there to enjoy it, you know what I mean? Um, and so it just felt like we were hitting that point. Um, and as you said, there's so many layers, both regarding the channel and just real life stuff that kind of stacked on top of all of this, that it's just like, man, we just kind of have to make a call. Um, one thing I do want to mention before we go into a little bit more detail about this, um, as the channel will be halting, Patreon will be halting as well. I want to make that very clear to anybody supporting us monetarily. We're going to be canceling YouTube memberships. We're going to be canceling Patreon to ensure that nobody's going to get charged for a channel that is not producing content because I firmly believe that's a terrible thing to do to people. Uh, mm -hmm. And so Patreon is already paused. Uh, by the time this has gone out, it's been paused for a little while. Um, so you're not going to get charged anymore. I will just completely pull the page at some point. Uh, but um, YouTube memberships, I do need to remember to look at those just so nobody gets charged. So I think you're one, John, uh, but I don't know. I think there's one or two others. So I just want to make sure we're not charging anybody. Um, but all that to say, uh, if you are supporting monetarily, please don't stress. Uh, if you do get charged unnecessarily, reach out to me. Uh, please, 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 please reach out to me. You can get us on Discord. I still check there and all that stuff. So um, all that to say, uh, yeah, the layers really did pile up, though. Um, as you mentioned, there's real life stuff going on. You have a lot going on. I'm moving house in about two months uh, and having a baby uh, <laughs> in August. And so there's a lot there uh, and just working full time really stacked. Uh, and so it made it kind of near impossible. Or it's making it feel near impossible to produce good quality, long form content at the very least. Uh, and so, yeah. It's tricky, dude. This sucks a yeah, little man. bit. You it know? does. It sucks a lot, man. Because I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, the door's open. The channel's there. Yeah. If we ever feel like we want to make a video and throw it up, just because, yeah. I mean, that's always a possibility. But yeah, there was. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and talk about it uh, without saying the keywords. I guess. Yeah. Um, my final breaking point was uh, the Friday before the Super Bowl. I had gotten a call. Uh, I was actually getting ready to record some videos. <laughs> and uh, I got a call and um, come to find out I had lost a friend of mine that I had known over 20 years, a really close friend of mine. And uh, just the circumstances of without going into too many details, of, of how it happened and what, what, what took place. Um, it just, 
hit too close to home for me. It just kind of broke my brain. And I had, I don't know, man, I had zero motivation to uh, turn on that game and play. And it just, uh, any, any type of um, excitement or, or, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to put it, man. Just any yeah. type of uh, wanting to build a deck and be excited about it and tell you guys about it and show you what it could do and explain it. It just, my brain just let it all left, man. It yeah. just, it kind of took a break for a second. Uh, losing him was a, it was a little bit rougher than I would have expected uh, a lot earlier than anyone would have expected but uh that's just to give you guys some insight of what took place and why i kind of fell off for the past couple of weeks with and, and kevin knew I, t- I talked to kevin about it yeah. um uh but uh <laughs> there's this there's, there's the cat you, know, you guys can't see it cat. but there is a cat back there <laughs> we, we got a new <laughs> cat by the way but uh but yeah with that man um losing him just kind of yeah, yeah. just kind of punch me right in the soul yeah it's been a tough couple weeks um for sure and john obviously i hope i hope everybody watching will join me in supporting john as best we can just as a community even though you know it resolves as a community and as a content producing channel might be ending i would suggest that there have been a lot of direct communications with a lot of community members who have reached out just in general and who have been very supportive of us and the things we've made and those kinds of things that really do mean a lot. And those are kind of the things that to, to try and put more of a positive note on everything. Mm-hmm. Those are kinds of the th- those are the kinds of things that matter a lot more than us producing content. It's, you know, the people you meet along the way, the things we've accomplished and all that stuff. And so um, in that instance, I hope that, you know, well, please don't inundate John with a million messages. Please make sure that, <laughs> well, you know, everybody's there to support because yeah. at, more importantly, we're here as as friends of the community and hopefully friends of some of you guys um, on on a more direct level than just saying like, hey, we made this this cool magic video or this terrible magic video. It could have been terrible. <laughs> There are a we lot of terrible ones we've made. <laughs> we got gotten a couple of messages just yes. saying something real yes. close to that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I do want to very quickly, this feels like a good time to to talk. Just I've got a couple very mm-hmm. quick highlight stats that I'd like to throw out there as accomplishments of the channel. I think it's really cool to to reflect back every once in a while. I'm an analytical guy, so I'm a stats guy. This stuff makes me feel like, hey, we've done something and that feels important. Uh, So not only did we get to meet so many of you awesome folks watching and listening and hanging out with us, we also did reach some really, I think, incredible numbers on the stats side of things that shows that we were at least in some level dedicated to it and did the best we could, uh, which I think is really important. So first things first, this channel and John, you weren't here for this, but this channel started April 30th of 2017, and it did start with a podcast episode, and it's ending with a podcast episode, which feels very poetic justice E. Um, but uh, it started with my good friend Will and I uh, doing a podcast about magic. We did it four times a week, which was absolutely stupid. Uh, because that's way too many podcast episodes every week (laughs) and we were killing ourselves for it but we really did enjoy making those those podcast episodes and we got a lot of episodes in at one point so uh, that was a blast we obviously did crack a packs for a year or two just on their own that was literally all the channel did Uh, and I spent so much of my own money on stupid (laughs) packs of cards don't ever just buy packs of cards expecting to get your money back you won't do it um but it was a blast to open those uh we obviously got more into gameplay and then over the course of the last year uh john and i started the partnership with it is what it is while he was still over on the country fried side of things which you still have the channel you still do a lot with it now Mm -hmm. um but we started there uh that partnership went extraordinarily well uh not necessarily in terms of viewership but i think john i can say safely we just had a blast with that series i thought that was so fun yeah what it is what it is yeah 
Yeah, man. Yeah, I had a fun, I had a fun time with that. That's probably the closest we've been to tabletop with this yes. game. Yeah. Uh, it yeah, was yeah. a lot of fun, man. Just making up janky decks and challenging so each other with them. Yep. It was so fun. The themes there were a blast. We obviously started the Glorious Sunrise podcast as part of integrating John into the It Resolves family uh, on a more permanent basis. And then obviously taking over streaming on John's end uh, while I did a lot of recording gameplay. And then he, of course, uh, kind of played both roles for quite some time. So huge, huge thank you in general, John, because you definitely yeah. had us had us going. We did accumulate over the years. Nearly 8,000 subscribers, which feels great. Uh, we were hoping to make 10. We got eight, or close to eight. We're at like 7.6. Yeah. Uh, we have produced nearly 2,000 videos over the years, which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. That's a lot of videos. <laughs> um, and we have garnished more or almost half a million views. Uh, which again feels really, really good. It would have been great to hit a million, but we didn't. We got half a million. So uh, yeah. all of that to say, guys, none of that happens without all of you guys. Uh, and so I just want to say truthfully, as being the person who's been here from the start to the finish, uh, massive thank you to all of you. Um, I can mention a lot of names right off the bat, but I'm just going to blanket statement this because otherwise we'll be here for quite some time mm -hmm. and saying that everybody who has helped us get to here, a massive thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um, the, the support that you've provided, the things in some cases, like the actual work that some of you have provided, uh, not necessarily being like a true part of the channel, but helping support the channel in different ways um, has been phenomenal. I can think Andrew Crump is one that I, I want to mention because he, you don't know Andrew, John, but he really helped us out in the beginning with some graphics and things like that. He was on some videos in the early days. Uh, Tyler, who I lived with for a while, we kind of partnered with him. Uh, of course, Will, who started the channel with me, all that kind of stuff. Um, just an absolute blast of a time, guys. And I can't thank everybody enough. It's been an absolute. Uh, it's been amazing. That's all. Nah, very well said, man. I hope you can't hear this cat purring in this. Microphone. No, we can't. <laughs> okay. She just jumped up here, man. Sorry. <laughs> it was cold outside, man. I didn't want to take this cat no, in, but it got not. cold, so I had to take the cat in, and we got to keep her kind of secluded until we yep. get her to the vet. But yeah. nah, man. Well, sorry. No, well you're said. good. You're totally she good. She just jumped up here. I was yeah, like, don't hurt the mic. No, you're fine. Here, um, hang on. We'll do. Yeah. We'll do the. Yes, there, there she is. Oh, there she is. She's so precious. Oh, she found her forever home. Yes, she's a very uh, cute cat. Pain in the ass, man. She's taking <laughs> out the mic. <laughs> <laughs> she just jumped up here, right? She got to quit. That should be fun. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, all this to say, though, guys, like we said, we are going to be breaking the channel from here on out. The channel will stay up, so all the content yeah. will still be there. Um, the long term goal, we may or may not be coming back to the channel at some point down the line. If if John or I get a wild inkling to start recording again, we do want to leave that door open. Um, mm -hmm. But for the time being, don't expect any content from the It Resolves channel for quite some time. I'll probably take down the website at some point just to because most of that is just to kind of hopefully get people over to the YouTube channel. So um, we'll probably kind of take that down as well. But all that to say, um, man, it's been a hell of a ride. Yeah, man. Same, dude. <laughs> Same. No, I like, I mean, look, yeah, it's just where it, it's kind of like the pinnacle of where everything is right now. There's just so yeah. much so much and then what happened on my end too for me yeah. was just yeah. kind of like the joys out of it right now for me and yeah. uh, i hate saying that because it, it sounds pretty finite but uh but there is the option of coming back in three months or six months and talking yeah. about it and being like hey man we had a long break uh, yeah. i don't know about six months because you'll be changing diapers right about then we'll be changing diapers in six months <laughs> um but i mean the options always open at any time either one of us wants to put a phone call in or a text mm -hmm. message and bring up a 
bring up a conversation and be like, Hey man, uh, I feel like I can get back into this. Yeah. And, uh, what, how, how are you feeling about it? You know, I mean, I don't know that that option is there just right now. It's, I got a, you got a bunch of stuff on your plate and <laughs> I'm just personally in a position where my head's not, it's just not there guys. And I hate yeah. to say that it just, it was, it was a pretty big, it was a pretty big hit for me. Uh, it's definitely nothing that I saw coming. So yeah. I just need to take some time mentally to, uh, to just stabilize from it and be cool. And I am, yeah. I am. It just, I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> I need a break. I gotta, no, I gotta kind of breathe on this one a little bit. Yeah. And there is also, um, you know, there's a lot of personal stuff going on that we've obviously kind of touched on pretty heavily. But there is also just the like the game itself right now. And I, again, I'll speak for myself. I don't want to put words in John's mouth, but <laughs> for myself, like the game itself has just gotten very stale. And like, I don't think magic is a bad game by any means, obviously, um, but like some potentially poor decision making on Hasbro's end and some things there didn't put a good taste in our mouth towards the end of last year. And uh, it's just anytime a new set comes out, it feels like it's done and figured out in the first week. And it's like, all right, those are the three decks you're going to see. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's yeah. just a little, you know, from a standard environment at the very least, it's a little bit frustrating. I think you can, you know, we we dabbled uh, in historic and some other areas at some point. But, you know, it it just feels like a lot of it is figured out and a lot of it's kind of done. And if you're not shooting for rank one or mythic or, you know, whatever, it almost feels like if you're doing gameplay, what's what's the real point? Because you know you're not learning a whole lot from playing all these jank decks as much as as much as yeah. i love playing these jank decks like that's my bread and butter for sure but like i don't think i don't think anybody is really looking for that or at least it just doesn't seem like it so from a from a true just like positioning marketing positioning angle of the channel like we were kind of hitting on something that i think people just don't really care about that much right now um, and I hope that changes because I personally have a lot of value in all those jank decks and those silly kind of they feel more tabletopy and a little bit more silly and a little bit more fun. And it's like that. That's kind of what I grew up enjoying, um, which was sort of capturing that essence, hopefully in the channel a little bit. And then obviously trying to do our best to remain as positive as we can, despite this episode. Uh, and so, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just felt like that was kind of always the goal. In the, <laughs> you like that, didn't you? Despite There's that smile. We got this there. <laughs> well, you know, so, um, it's a downer episode. We know that. No, um, I mean, but, I mean, you know. I, no, I mean, just to, I, I get it. I get it, man. Standard is standards solved. Yeah. A week after it comes out now, yeah. and then it it kind of got to the point where, well, what's the purpose of these videos? Can I can I show you something that's competitive against the meta? Um, maybe 60% of the time, mm -hmm. uh, maybe 50% of the time, um, I can edit it to make it look great, <laughs> but, yeah. but, uh, but is it actual viable, you know, is it going to carry you through? Um, and no, I mean, it could, you can grind anything out, but, yeah, of uh, course. but, uh, standard is kind of in a position where top three top five decks are just going to be what the top three top five decks are yep and that's yeah, kind of it definitely you know, feels that way that kind of takes out the magic <laughs> of what oh. i liked about magic <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. um i was in the same spot of you man. i'm more of a i'm more of a brewer and look at what mm -hmm. i can do type play yeah yeah good lord man this cat, cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. she's back up here yeah. but uh yeah just the brewing aspect of it i mean it's there yeah anybody can do it but am i going to be able to make a 45 minute video on a specific deck to make it look good uh it just got harder and then yeah. and then it just got to the point where i just didn't with with uh and i'll touch back on it not to be the downer but you no, know no. losing him i just yeah. 
bro, I've, I've opened the game once over the past two weeks. I just can't. Yeah. I can't focus long enough to even care about it. I so. get you, dude. I get you. Yeah, it's been a tough, a tough few weeks to say the least. Um, yeah. And I know especially for you, but all that to say, guys, um, I think it's safe to say, you know, we had a really fun and a really positive run at making a magic channel. Uh, it was an absolute blast. It may or may not come back, but for the foreseeable future, um, right now we're we're stepping away. Um, and I wish uh, one of the things I do want to mention, a lot of other content creators out there, uh, Swayze, you know, some of the 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 individuals that were kind of close to our level in terms of, you know, content creation and what they did and all that kind of stuff. Um, please, I, I wish every one of them the absolute best of luck oh, because yeah. um, I, Swayze comes to mind just because he's been, you know, commenting and every once in a while I talk, you know, chat with him through there. But like he is such a great just supporter, content creator, all that kind of stuff. And there's plenty of them out there. Um, I really do hope that they stick at it and and do the best they can because I think there's a lot of them out there. Jay Villain out there has been supporting the channel for quite some time. He's been really good. Um, mm -hmm. There's there's tons of them, but all that yeah, to say, Putin. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of them. There's tons. I could start rattling them off. I was gonna I mean, say you honestly watch more magic content yeah, we than hang I think out in a lot yeah. of rooms. We yeah. do. Yeah, we do, but. Uh, uh, yeah man definitely definitely keep lending your support to them they're, yes they need it and they deserve it they're they putting do. in the grind they work hard harder than you probably know yeah. um so definitely go support them and thank you to all of them for for supporting us for so long and to everybody that's supported over the years through patreon and that kind of stuff it really does mean a lot uh no more altars sad day i'm gonna be honest that's such a weight off though <laughs> uh dude doing those altars every month it started so it was such a blast to make altars it was so fun and mm -hmm. i do still enjoy it because like that's kind of graphic design and like creating those kinds of things have always been kind of what i enjoy the most but like it's just such a i'm like ah oh, crap i gotta make altars for the next patreon rewards <laughs> And uh, again, it's one of those areas where if you're not enjoying it like you used to, it just feels like ah, it's probably not a good idea to keep it going. So, um, you know, in those areas, it was a blast. We're not going to see that anymore. Um, I will. I, I forgot to mention this earlier when we talked about Patreon, the February rewards will be going out. Everybody did get charged for February. Um, those are on their way and I will be sending all of those out, but that is going to be the last batch of Patreon rewards. I just want to make sure that I clarify that if you did pay for February, you will be getting your rewards for February. I just want to cover that as well. Um, uh, but yeah, no more altars, which man, such a time saver. <laughs> those <laughs> take so long. So Bro, long, man. You traded, you traded altars for... Well, it didn't trade. You went from altars to baby, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to have no time. <laughs> well, I'm just happy for you, man. I'm happy for no, you. No, I appreciate it. I'm excited to have a baby. And, yeah, honestly, man, you don't have to go six. So <laughs> there's, there's that. You don't have to go six. <laughs> <laughs> oh man no i'm i'm stoked to have a baby man we're i we're hitting that next chapter in our lives with new house new baby like all that yeah. kind of stuff and you got a lot of stuff man i wish yeah. i wish there was time and i wish there was the patience or the or even the i guess the interest of wanting yeah. to hear what all we got going on all the time as, <laughs> as well as managing the channel yeah. it would blow people's minds man i mean it really you're, would you're like, in the middle of a buying a house and you got a baby yeah. coming and you've got a full-time job and you're running the patreon and you're doing yeah. videos and I will Still say if a anybody and a partner in between. Yeah, exactly. Like if anybody thought making a YouTube channel was easy, um, I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and just nix that right away <laughs> um, to do it. Okay, I will say this. It's it's very easy to make a YouTube channel and it's very mm. easy to every once in a while post a video. It's very difficult to manage a schedule that also supports hopefully a Patreon page that supports, you know, 
regularly scheduled videos i mean you guys got to think we were doing at least a video every day for over a year um and like that's a lot <laughs> like you between editing we edit our own videos like there is nobody else aside from john and i doing this like it took for, uh, way too much time out of the day to do all of this um and it's just not feasible right now right like we are hitting that chapter in our lives it, it's just not gonna work and like i i know i'll i for me personally like i have to make stuff i'm a very hobbyist kind of person john you know i write music i do all kinds of other stuff on the mm -hmm. side um i do have another youtube channel that i'm playing around with now that's been a blast but it's like it's low maintenance right like everything i'm doing now is more just for fun and low maintenance whereas it resolves kind of hit a point where it was a little less fun than it used to be it was great to see everybody comments you know all that kind of stuff was a blast but in general making the videos didn't feel as fun uh and in that instance i just think it's not worth making it um and so yeah i don't know dude it sucks it really sucks because it's yeah, been a no, blast it, it really it has does. it does but um, i mean i'm kind of in the same spot man it was uh when it was something that was convenient and i could do and i had the time for i absolutely loved it yeah but then you know I got sick a couple times last year and then yeah, my yeah. dad and then yeah. we got the last one going out of the house for college. And then my wife got promoted three damn times in the last six <laughs> hey, months of last year. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> uh, but that made her busier and, yeah. and, you know, and trying to, trying to hop up here and record and then hop downstairs and get dinner ready. So every, you know, just yeah. keeping the routine of the house as well as the videos and stuff, man. Like I said, when it was, I think when it, making videos and streaming was convenient mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have all that kind of stuff going on, it was a blast. It really yeah. was. But then all these non-scheduled <laughs> events yeah. started happening and I'm like, I can't keep up, man. No, I, I, much, I, my schedule is blown all over the place i would go to bed just like could not fall asleep how am i going to manage tomorrow <laughs> What's, what the <laughs> hell is going on <laughs> like, i can't i can't bro. i can't even count how many times i would go to bed like at you know 10 11 at night because i've got work the next day and i'm waking up at six to to get videos ready because i haven't recorded or something like that and not slept very well solely because i knew i had to record a video so i didn't mm -hmm. miss my schedule day like you guys have to think like when you're in the mindset of i i'm not just doing this as a hobby it's like this is a a pursuit of mine now like this is something i want to make happen and like that kind of thing you really do cross a line where like to your point you know when you do it and it's convenient and it's fun it's easy right but you pass that point very quickly when you're trying to do it mm -hmm. on a little more of a serious level where it's like no this is kind of a second job like this is literally like i'm i have to do this every day this is important i need to get it done and like there were days where that would stress out just my day-to-day -day with like caitlin like Caitlin would get home from work and like she'd be talking about that and I'm like kind of absent minded because I'm like crap I forgot to record a video and like I got to get that done and like that's just not like at some point on a health level of yeah, like you not, and not. your marriage like more important things are yeah. out there than the next magic video by a long way <laughs> and so yeah. I think like when your prioritization especially gets kind of muddled up it's like wow man you really go down a huge rabbit hole and it feels bad it feels really bad um so all that to say though guys i know we've been kind of rambling and uh this has been a very candid episode but like the idea being that we could kind of just talk this out and uh let you guys kind of know where we're at so i hope that it gives you at least a little bit of insight um as to to why we're doing what we're doing maybe we'll be back i don't know yeah. right now you won't see us for a while for um, a while yeah. i could totally shamelessly plug but i'm not going to so we're gonna skip that <laughs> the other channel oh <laughs> no you go ahead bro no no no, no, no. Go ahead. this isn't oh, the place okay. well this isn't the right. place but no um, man, yeah to the to to everybody that's supported 
And, yeah. and you, Kevin. Uh, man, it's been it's been a fantastic ride, and one I hope we, I genuinely hope. Yeah, we can get to a point where we can revisit. But I think you hit it perfectly, man. Yeah. Just the pursuit, because we did. We changed it from a hobby to a pursuit. Yes, absolutely. Um, and we both, nobody pressured into it. Kevin already had it resolves going, and I already had country fried going, and we had both at our own terms had decided this was not going to just be a hobby. It was going to be a pursuit. And I think we did that separately of each other. And then it's just the coming together of it uh, to kind of join in that pursuit together yeah. uh, moving forward. But um, I do think we got to a point where now, now it's, uh, um, it's not unfortunate, but m the mental health aspect of yeah. it, uh, is really there and um to prioritize and to focus um i think what we would have to do just to even keep the channel moving forward would be so little yeah. to uh be releasing to an audience i think it would do those who do support the channel i think it would be an injustice to them um it, it may be not so severe maybe <laughs> not an injustice but it just it wouldn't be respectful to no. our supporters um they deserve the support they give they deserve channels that can can pump out the content that they want to yeah. see all the time and it just it really does come down to prioritization and mental health and uh i think it was a smart move for us to talk it through man i mean even when I we talked so, it yeah. through we we took several weeks yeah off i mean this has been to discuss in the planning it and for a while. kind of ping pong it back and forth um so it wasn't like an easy decision it just yeah. i think it's but i do think it's the right one moving forward where we're at personally yes. um yeah. it gives us some time to focus on some things that we need to yep um no i think you hit it that hit the nail on the head i think joining joining collaboratively on the channel was something that without that pursuit mindset that you touched on like it would never have worked and i think when we did it is what it is as separate channels we kind of got to discover like okay no he's in it for the long haul i'm in it for the long haul this is the right the right call right and um <laughs> and then we're if, not <laughs> and then we're not um but you know all of that happened I'm due sorry. to external circumstances <laughs> unfortunately no it's well, it pretty funny really, honestly um it is though and that, maybe that's something anybody who's thinking about getting into this i mean yeah. take a look at it man you can you can get there you can get there but you've got to love it you got to want it and yep. you get and and hopefully you don't have incidentals popping up all the time yeah, you I have think to that's... schedule and prioritize around. And it just, man, 2020s sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, yeah, dude. Bro. Um, <laughs> one thing I will I'm done say. With this decade. I'm done with this decade. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking done. We, we one thing I will say, though. To go through it. Genuinely, this last year, uh, and guys, I can't, you can't understand this. Anybody watching, you cannot understand how great it has been to be able to collaborate with John on this channel. It's been an absolute blast. So I just want to say a massive thank you, John, because oh, truthfully, outside of the channel, you and I have just had some conversations that have been really like those little life talk kind of small things here and there that pop up. Like you and I have gotten to chat about those things and like, you've known about the pregnancy as an example for way longer than most everybody yeah, else. And yeah. like, it's just one of those things where, you know, excluding the channel, John's just a fun dude, man. Go hang out with John. If you get the opportunity, <laughs> he's a blast. He's an Bro. absolute lifelong friend. No doubt You'll about it. Way more off camera than you will. on. <laughs> yeah, yes. So I just want to say, Thank you guys for supporting, but also, John, I cannot thank you enough, my man. It has been yeah. such a ride with you for the last year, and I've, I've loved every second of it, aside from now. <laughs> same, brother. Same, man. I can't... Just giving me the opportunity to come over. Um, and then uh, I just... Man, yeah... I can't. I got to marry into the money. <laughs> so, no, no. Look, yeah, all that, all money. that YouTube money. <laughs> but yeah, there's not. There's a lot. so much. <laughs> it's not financially viable to have a YouTube channel for quite no, some time. For anybody yeah, that's bro. wondering. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's but, not really. No, man. 
it really has been an absolute blast, especially, I mean, look, I'm not going to say we're artists or anything, but as, as collaborative and, um, and creation, Mm -hmm. content creation goes man it's so much fun having another set of eyes on it and doing the collaboration perspective of it and being able to bounce ideas and talk other than to yourself in your own room (laughs) (laughs) to have a partner there to actually do it where you guys' mindset and goals are the same yeah man i absolutely loved it dude i do and i mean we'll still talk even oh yeah we're still just gonna be like chilling in the background um (laughs) Even with, and, and just like, just like uh, you had said about the pregnancy. Well, when that happened to me a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Kevin was, other than my wife, Kevin was the, the next person to know. Yeah. Um, because, uh, because I respect him that much. I knew, I knew right then when I heard my mind was fried and I was yeah. like, I gotta let him know, man. Uh, yeah. I got to let him know. And it came, as much as I didn't want to, as much as I didn't want to talk about it, and I didn't want to talk to anybody, uh, I still had to shoot out a message. And uh, we had we'd gotten a hold of each other. And um, so yeah. I get a very important part of my life now, too. So thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate you, bro. John, I love you, man. I love you too. I love you so much. It's been a blast. (laughs) It has, man. Hey, look, and if we're wrapping this up, I got one more piece of advice for you before you go into the baby world. Oh, shit. Yeah. Go for it. You ready? Yeah. Hit me. Figure out how you're going to explain the tooth fairy, man. Okay. I've not heard this piece of advice yet. I'm just saving you some time of some childhood trauma and therapy. It wasn't until the fifth one rolled around. And he's very, he's very analytical in his thought processes. <laughs> Why do I got to put the tooth under my pillow? Well, because while you're sleeping, the tooth fairy is going to sneak in your room and trade out the tooth and put money there for the tooth. He didn't, didn't even fly. hear the money in the tooth, man. All he heard was somebody was sneaking in his room in the middle <laughs> of the night while he was asleep, dude, and lost it for like a damn week. That tooth set on the counter in the kitchen because he wouldn't do it, man. I love that. He wouldn't do it, bro. That's he freaked so him funny. Out. And now he's now he's 23. And he still tells me about that shit. <laughs> still, man, to this day. I love what that. What are you going to do? So it's, if any of us have kids, you know, you can't, you can't come up and, and we do, we've got great yeah. kids, but it's, you can't go tell them about the tooth fairy. Figure out how you're going to tell them about the tooth fairy. Good bro. advice. Yeah. <laughs> tell them without, without the brother's grim side of this. Story. That's the most obscure <laughs> piece of advice I think we've gotten so far. We have gotten all the like normal stuff, like get your oh, sleep yeah, in man. now and learn how yeah. to change a diaper and like all That's this the shit. Easy but, stuff, dude. Yeah. That's the easy stuff. You and Caitlin sat down and, and discussed <laughs> the tooth fairy <laughs> and discuss how you explain the tooth fairy and you're going to yeah. see real quick how somebody could take it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was pretty sure he was going to be in human trafficking. <laughs> so, it was gone. That's too funny. <laughs> it was gone, oh, man. It was gone, man. He screamed. He started crying, bro. It, I love that. That's so childhood funny. Trauma. I love childhood that. Childhood trauma, free of charge, dad. Nice. <laughs> so. I can only aspire to be as, as, <laughs> as traumatic as you were, John. <laughs> bro. bro oh well guys so, yeah i think uh on that <laughs> lovely piece of advice <laughs> we're gonna end not only this episode uh but the foreseeable future of it resolves um it's been a blast guys i can't thank everybody enough john i love you buddy i love all of you guys watching uh, I wish you all the best. I do sincerely. Please go visit other people's channels and support them. I'm sure you guys already are. Um, but there are so many great content creators out there in the magic space that you are missing out if you are not taking that opportunity to go look and and watch and enjoy what content they're producing. I hope we'll be back one day. Uh, and if not, bye. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Same man. Much love to you. Country Club and Channel at Resolves. Love you all. Thank you guys for your support, brother. It's been a ride, man. It has, man. I love you guys. Love you. Peace.